All right, so I literally just got on Fortnite right now and my news tab popped up and I know you guys can't see it because my ugly head is blocking it. So let me go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. But as you guys can see, it says coming soon Driftboard. Hop on board and boost past your competition with this new single player vehicle. So again, this just sort of popped up out of the ordinary because we didn't really know that we were going to be getting a brand new vehicle here in Fortnite, but according to our news tab, it actually looks like we are going to be getting a brand new Driftboard vehicle added into Fortnite Battle Royale extremely soon. Alright, so I think what we're going to go ahead and do is take a look at what the Fortnite news outlets are actually saying. So, Fortnite Intel posted this not too long ago, and they said, New Driftboard vehicle is coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. Fortnite's in-game newsfeed has been updated to reveal that a new vehicle called the Driftboard is coming to the game. The Driftboard would be the second vehicle added to the game since the beginning of Season 7 with the X4 Stormwing plane being introduced to the game at the beginning of the new season in the Volume 7.0 update. And then again, as you guys can see, we do have that in-game screenshot of the Driftboard saying coming soon. And this is super interesting because we really had no idea that we were going to be getting a brand new vehicle here in Fortnite Season 7. Just because there really had not been anything in the game files suggesting that a new vehicle was going to be added into Fortnite. And the fact that we're getting a brand new hoverboard or a driftboard added into the game is pretty interesting. So although we don't have too much information about this driftboard coming to Fortnite, we do know a couple of things. First off, as you guys previously saw in the news feed, it says that the driftboard is a single player vehicle. So I believe this is our first ever single player vehicle that we've ever had added into Fortnite considering the shopping cart was technically considered to be our very first vehicle added into the game and that's a two person vehicle. And then shortly after we had the ATK added into the game which obviously could hold up to four players. Then we've got the quad crasher for two players and the X4 Stormwing plane added in the season seven update. And if I'm not mistaken and I believe that the Stormwing actually allows you guys to seat upwards of five players. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the very first single player vehicle that we have ever had added into Fortnite. Now, in addition to us knowing that it's a single player vehicle, I'm almost certain that the new Fortnite update, the patch volume 7.10 content update or client update is actually expected to be released early tomorrow morning. So I'm making this video right now and it's 9.30 in the morning here in California, which means this update will most likely drop in a little bit over 12 hours or so. So maybe upwards of about 15 hours, 15, 16 hours at about 2 a.m. I'm not very good at math, so I think it's about 15 or 16 hours away from right now so at about 2 a.m pacific time we will most likely see a brand new update added into fortnite and for those of you who live on the east coast of the united states that's 5 a.m eastern time but unfortunately we don't have a confirmed post or any confirmation of this new update coming to the game tomorrow but i actually have seen a couple of posts over on reddit from people suggesting that the brand new fortnite client update is actually expected to be released early early tomorrow morning so it looks like we may be getting this brand new Driftboard vehicle added into Fortnite Battle Royale early tomorrow morning. And of course, I will be sure to keep you guys up to date with all of the latest and the greatest information and news regarding this brand new Driftboard. I honestly don't know what to think about it just because I really did not think that we needed another vehicle added into Fortnite. And obviously the X4 Stormwing plane is a vehicle in its completely own caliber. There are no other vehicles in Fortnite that come close to comparing to what the heck the X4 Stormwing plane is and what it could do, the damage it causes on structures, the damage it can do to enemies, and just how fun and how overpowered of a vehicle it is in Fortnite. Personally, I love using the plane. I really don't think that it needs to be changed very much in Fortnite. I think it is a super fun and definitely one of the most cool additions ever added into Fortnite Battle Royale. But again, we have this brand new Driftboard being added into the game, and I'm super curious to see how exactly it functions and how exactly it operates, whether or not it's going to be a Driftboard that only allows us to sort of hover above the ground and not really go all that high. Or maybe this Driftboard is going to allow us to sort of go up and down in different elevations. Maybe we're going to be able to scale mountains a lot quicker or... You know, honestly, I really do not know what to expect with the brand new Driftboard. But I will be sure to keep you guys up to date when we do have a little bit more information about the Driftboard and how exactly it operates here in Fortnite Battle Royale. Of course, guys, please be sure to let me know your thoughts, opinions, and your feedback regarding this brand new Driftboard coming to Fortnite. On top of that, if you guys do plan on purchasing any skins in the item shop over these next couple of days, to make sure that you guys use my supporter creator code, SWIFTERS. As you guys can see, it's up on screen right now. Just go ahead and type that supporter creator code in, accept it, and it should pop up in the top right-hand corner. Also, if 
you guys do so, I'm going to use my code to make sure that you guys take a picture of it and tweet it to me over on Twitter. The link to my Twitter is in the description below, and I'll be sure to go ahead and drop both a heart and a retweet on your guys' photos. One final thing about the supporter creator code is that this code does expire every 14 days, or it resets every two weeks. So if you guys put my code in two weeks ago, make sure that you guys go back to the item shop to re-input it into that item shop. So, so long as it says Swifters in the top right-hand corner, you guys should be good to go. Regardless, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. With that being said, I'll be sure to catch you guys later.